What is going on everybody? It's your boy Blank Online here today to chat with you more about some Black Ops Cold War and let's talk about the prestige system that's seemingly completely broken. Now the game's been out for about a week now and I know a lot of you guys have gotten to your prestiges. You've done the military ranks, you've gone into level 55, you've completed level 55 and now we're into prestiges and what you'll notice is that you'll have two different levels um, and apparently that's not a glitch now i'll explain what happens and then i'll explain to you why apparently this isn't a glitch now once you reach level 55 once you complete level 55 you'll go into your first prestige once you go into your first prestige obviously you're going to have the level one that's going to be next to that new prestige one prestige icon what happens is that after you play a game in your after action report you will see say for example level seven but when you go into the combat record and when you go and see yourself in the lobbies you may only be level two level three but not seven now why is that the case now apparently the real rank is the one next to your icon and the one in the after actions report is the one that's bugged so theoretically if you are leveling up and your level is level whatever whatever that may be whatever that may be level seven on the after action report theoretically your level genuinely is only level three now this is interesting for a couple of reasons now apparently the reason for your after action report rank is different to your actual rank it, it's what you have if you had really prestige and your actual rank which is the one that comes up next to the icon is the new season rank levels now this is very very confusing for a couple different reasons this means that even after you prestige there are two ways of leveling up still there you have your what you actually would have if you prestige and then you have your season prestige rank now season prestige ranks are level ones to 50 for one another prestige and then 50 to 100 for another prestige and then so on and so forth especially after season one we get when we get up to 200 so you get one to 50 50 to 100 100 to 150 and then 150 to 200 and then you go into master prestige after that now it's interesting because the i i, I don't really know how i feel about this system now Apparently, it's a glitch. The one in the after action report one is a glitch. So the after action report says you're 17. And as I said, again, you could only be 10 realistically. So basically, only look at the rank that's next to the icon. So at the icon that's next to, you, next to the icon, next to the name, once you reach that icon level 100, that means you're actually level 100 in the season, not actual. And, and whatever it says in the after action report, pretty much discard that because the after action report is the one that's bugged. And this is interesting for a couple of reasons. Reason one being that it takes a really, really long time to level up those new season levels. So from going from level one to two takes a very, very long time. Even with double XP, that ranking system takes super, super long to get through. Now, this is a problem for a couple of reasons. Reason one being the grind to get from level one to level 200 when we're in the normal seasons. That grind to get from one to 200 just to unlock master prestige and just to unlock the prestige shop is going to be a trek to do. One, because XP in this game is very few and far between. It's really hard to level up, not only uh, weapon XP, but normal XP too. And and two, if that is the case, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Because, it's again, it's very similar in the mold of the seasonal level system from Modern Warfare. Levels 55 to 155 were not like levels 1 to 55 in terms of the amount of XP you needed to move through the ranks. It did get harder as you went from... 55 to 155 so from 55 to 56 it was easier than 154 to 155 for example but here in cold war it's hard to get from level one to 200 to one to two on your normal prestige and i assume it's only going to get harder once you go from from one to two to i don't know whatever that'd be 49 to 50 like it's going to take a hell of a long time for you to go ahead and do so now 
again, it, it, it somewhat makes sense as well in the fact that you're going from levels 1 to 100, say, here in the preseason. Go, going If you're level 64 and it says you're level 64, you're going to be Prestige 2. So you'll see the Prestige 2 icon. Now, I was rolling in games and I was thinking, oh, shit. These guys are level 64. They must be Prestige Master ready because they can choose whatever icon they want to use. I was wrong there because I didn't necessarily understand how it was going to fully work here. Basically, that just means that their season rank is 64. Therefore, they are Prestige 2, not Prestige Master level 64. I thought every single time you went from 1 to 50, your rank will reset back to, to 1. That is not the case. In each individual season, you will be ranking from level 1 to level 200 not from level 1 to 50 to 1 to 50 to 1 to 50 it's going to be ranking from 1 to whatever the max cap is going to be for that season see pre-season 1 to 100 season 1 1 to 200 and seemingly it's going to be 1 to 200 from there on out this is going to be a grind it's going to be a grind to get to prestige master every single season because of the amount of game time you're going to have to put into the game i've put a relatively decent amount of game time into Cold War. I definitely haven't played as much as I want to, and I definitely haven't played as much as some people have, but I feel like with my lifestyle, the way I'm doing it, I've played a decent amount of Cold War. I haven't even touched any of the other games on my PS5 because I'm purely focused on playing Cold War. And it's a grind, man. It's genuinely a massive grind. If Like from getting, I think two nights ago, I got Prestige one and two nights later i'm only level 15 i'm pretty sure granted i haven't i didn't play any any cod yesterday and i barely played any the day before but still like even with double xp even with that going on i'm only level 15 so it, it takes a hell of a long time to get there and it's gonna take a hell of a long time to get to prestige master here in black ops cold war we have about i'd say about two to three weeks until season one of Cold War begins, so we have about two to three weeks to get to Master Prestige to unlock the Prestige Shop. Realistically, you only really have to get to Prestige 2 in order to get this season's reward, which is a shotgun blueprint. Um, but if you want to get Prestige Master this season, you don't have that much time to do it, especially given how long it's going to take to get from level 1 to level 100. And it's going to be even worse getting from 1 to 200. If I were to change things, I would change how it works altogether. If you're going to make people go from level 1 to 200 every single season, make it like the normal military ranks are. So 1 to what, one to 55 or how it is in normal military ranks in terms of the amount of XP you need just balancing that whole thing because if you're going to make every single level you jump a massive amount of xp to get it's going to be a massive massive grind to get there and i get that treyarch doesn't want everyone to get there immediately or everyone or, or to be an easy thing to get to get to prestige master but fuck me it's going to be a challenge to get there each and every season and even to get the to the max prestige in this game it's going to be a trek to get there as well so I, I get what they're I get what they're doing and I get why they're doing it. It's to make people come back and continue to play, continue to grind. But at the same time, if you're gonna make it this much of a grind, not only normal leveling system but the weapon XP as well, people will turn away because the grind is not like you can have a grind. But if if you're gonna make it too difficult for people to progress, then no one's gonna want to progress because they're not seeing it. You gotta you gotta make a system that rewards people for playing the game. And while yeah, well yes, this system does do that. In a way, it could end up turning itself on its head where it's turning people away from it because the grind is too crazy. At the moment in time, the prestige mode is completely broken. We are seeing a bunch of different levels where we don't know which one's the real one. Apparently, the one next to the icon is the real one, but we're seeing a different one in the after action report. We don't know what's going on. Treyarch apparently knows what's going on. We don't. I don't know necessarily know why it's not fixed yet, but we're here. And we're, we're moving on. We're doing our thing. But... That's all I have for you guys today. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below. What do you think of prestige mode right now? If you're if you're prestige one, two, three, what do you think of it? What do you think of the grind to get from level one to a hundred? And how difficult is that gonna be once we go from one to a hundred to one to two hundred? Let me know all that in the comment section down below. Click subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss out on my next video. And on twitch.tv slash blank online, I am live every single well, pretty much every single day playing Call of Duty, Phasmophobia, whatever I feel like playing. So head over there, follow me, check me out. Have a good time over there. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Baby, I like you a lot. You know I mean that a lot. I'ma pull up at your spot. I'ma show you what I got. I just been dodging a cop. I just been dodging my ops. I need to sit and relax. Baby girl, come make it pop. Baby girl, right now I need you. Baby, I need to come see you.